young and do it all for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, got a thing. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. As a young and do it all for the G. I gotta keep in mind that relatives of mine is trying to build like me. Sit down with G Connect, got a thing. Every moment got you tapping the mental and looking out for the key. Right, this is Generation Conversation Network. Y'all tap in. Wes had and though yeah we tapped in baby we tapped in with who the generation conversation man y'all need to be a part of the convo you heard me hey look shout out g2 beats my boy bill blasting them over there putting in that work you heard me hey look y'all need to tap in generation conversation the g connect subscribe to them on youtube you heard me and just know we don't jersey hey it's your boy sweet groove Inglewood's in the building giving a shout out to g connect you know it's official. Yeah. Now now let me take you somewhere else. Who did you grow up listening to as a teen as far as music wise? Man. And being I a was a... from originally the East Coast and right. growing on the West Coast, who who did you listen right. to as a teen? My first introduction was my Adidas. <laughs> it was Run DMC, man. I had I had Run DMC and um What's the white boys? Uh, uh, Beastie Boys? The, them and the Beastie Boys was the first, like, introduction to hip-hop. I mean, I heard Curtis Blow, but I wasn't really interested in, like, Curtis Blow. You know what I mean? It was, he was cool. He had the little, you know, but that wasn't, I didn't like that. Rah! And that, that, they were, the way they, their delivery on the mic, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Even though, even though Run DMC kind of had that loud, but it just was their music and the way they, they delivered, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, man, I used to, this is how I learned how to rap, too. I'm going to tell you real quick. So I used to write, I used to listen to the radio a lot. I was just a real a radio head. I just always wanted to hear, listen to the radio. So I used to love Run DMC. So I would write their bars down. Like I would, you know how you used to, you know, they play, the, play on the radio, you used to record the songs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I had the little tape deck recording the songs and then I just rewind it back and play, rewind it back and play. And I just, I just, I write they whole, all their words down, all the words they say, the chorus. And I just see how they, how they wrote it. That's how I see I see how they formatted it. Well, I, I imagined in my head how they would format it. So that's how I kind of like was like getting into the rapping thing. Cause yeah, that was like one of my, my, my first loves. Rap was like, you know, I just love rap, like the music. So yeah, it was Run DMC and the Beastie Boys to answer your question. Who do you listen to today? Today I still listen to the '90s, man. I still I I'll listen to like you know what I'm saying, uh, like a young thug. You know what I'm saying? I like I like I like the beats he come with. Sometimes I don't understand what he's saying because you know I you know I'm not into all the new lingo and everything. Some of it you know I I, I can understand because my son he 18, so he put me up on a lot of stuff. So I listen to like young thug. I listen to um to uh there's some Compton dudes out there that's um. Uh, AD, AZ, you know, there's just a couple of them with Compton in their name. I, you know, I don't really right. like, right. I don't have, I'm like, like not a fan of everybody, but I will listen to your music. And if you got some dope shit, man, I, I'm rocking it. I'm, I'm play it. And my, like I said, my son, he put me up on a lot of music. So I listen to like Roddy Rich and, you know, all the different, I'm really into, you know what I'm saying? Rap, rap, that, but that's cool too. You know what I'm saying? Their t type of rap is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's different, but uh, <clears throat> I'm more, I'm more into hardcore rap. You know, I'm more into NWA. I'm more into uh, Cube. Uh, you know, the Lynch Mob. Uh, I got you. I'm gonna get uh, to that Jeep. one. I'm gonna get to that one. I'm gonna get to that one. I see. Right, 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 right. When, when, when did you start rapping? Man, that's a good question. I was. It was kind of forced on me to be honest, because I didn't want to do it. Because I'm. I was. I was a shy dude. So you know, what I'm saying I was kind of shy. So I really didn't want to venture off into music and, and be on the front street of music or, or rapping because my brother you know since that's all he did that's i mean i i, I could, as, as long as i can remember being a, a teenager or even before my teens that's all my brother did was write raps uh he was he was way into it more than way more than me way more than me so it kind of like was forced on me because i just would see them do it and i was just so amazed by them just creating stuff out their head and, and and like I well I'm gonna tell you you know I'm pretty sure you probably gonna ask me about this but I'm gonna just go uh fast forward a little bit so corrupt was his 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 um his they were in a group called lyrical assassins so he was LSD and it was K-Rock
So that they would so and they would walk around, you know, so we just walk to the store. They'd be rapping off the sides of the street, you know what I'm saying? Rapping off of everything. Just that was their entertainment. That's how we just, you know what I'm saying, moved around the city. These niggas would just be walking around rapping, rapping, rapping. I used to get sick of it, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like like how I started. And then my brother kind of forced me to be on, on on records and shit. So not forced me, he just like, bro, come on. Get on I'm this. like, what? You gotta get on this. Right. I, even if I wouldn't like, you know what I'm saying? There was times where I'd be like, man, I can't, man, I don't know what to say. I'll write it for you. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. He just like, no, nah, you gonna, when I shine, you shine. That's the type of brother he was, though, on the real. Light skinned dominator. Yeah, man. Okay. Hey, yo, what up, world? This leak from Inglewood from the original Banging on Wax. Tapping in with G Connect, where different generations have different conversations. With G, two Bs. Hey, so like, subscribe, and share on YouTube. Yeah, good looking out. Listen in the G Connect with your G, two Bs. A generation conversation. You ain't got the patience.